if you receive them, lift your hands up like this. Awesome. Okay. So, I registered as the last person. <laughs> so, I expected <laughs> I might have a drink before I come here. <laughs> but, we are here now. So, let's make hay while the sun shines, okay? Um, so, I have, are there any children in the audience today? Where are they? Okay. So, I have a slightly PG-rated performance, so I'm worried about if they are children. Okay, cool. All right, so, um, <clears throat> let me introduce myself first. Yeah? So, my name is Enigma Creative. That's creative with a K. Creative with a K. Um, I come from Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, I am part of an art collective in Nairobi, Kenya called the Anika Initiative. And we have worked with artists both in Kenya and here for a while. And because I know you're here for the poetry, I'll skip the sob story and start with the poetry, okay? Yeah. Um, so all the people who have lovers in the house, this is a very short performance specifically for you. She, I, I grazed her hips and kissed her lips. I trickled my index finger down her spine. I mimicked the passion that shimmered down mine every single time we touched. Woman, don't you see? We were made for each other. See, she lay there like Isaac, the sacrificial lamb consumed by the gaze of the bearer of the blade that deems to send her to Pluto and back with pangs of pleasure. She pulled me close. She suckled at the nipple of my ear. She whispered her final right in submission as she said, Take me slow, tiger, just the way I like. See, roam her edges I did, strummed the G of her strings I did. I even said her names in tongues only the seven seas could fathom and at the peak of blissful love she said, come home to me, tiger. And I came and she came and we all went home. That's the first one, yeah? <laughs> um, this second poem is also a very short one, but it's from a collection of poems that I am curating for an anthology I'm calling The And Conspiracy. So The And Conspiracy is basically a way of me asking you as the reader, uh, Instead of asking yourself, what if, how about you ask yourself, and, because and allows you to say, to add something else. What if just allows you to wallow in worry. And I feel like um, worry is a useless emotion. Yeah? And what if humanity was a huge blunt and we were the fine stash collected in its folds. What if us experiencing life was life passing us path, path, path from one experience to the other? Just imagine we were the tea bags swirling in God's cup. Imagine us lathering in the hot water boiled from the recesses of God's let there be. Imagine the joy of being the essence of a cup that the master sips when he says and let there be light and let there be beauty and let there be life and let there be the sun. Imagine the audacity of being called two leaves and a bud picked 
by the master's divine hands. Just imagine. Murakoze chane. 